Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have no skeleton? If you took all the bones out of your body, what would be left? What would your body look like? Today, we will learn more about vertebrate skeletons. We will learn about the bones and joints that make up the skeleton inside the body of an animal and what the different bones do. Skeletons do three important jobs. One, they give shape and support to the body. Two, they protect soft organs in the body. Three, they make movement possible. We have seen that vertebrates are animals with skeletons inside their bodies, an endoskeleton. The bones in a skeleton form a frame structure around which the rest of the body is built. This frame structure made of bones gives an animal its shape. That is why it is easy to identify the type of animal just by looking at its skeletal system. The skeletons of vertebrates are made of bone and cartilage. The bones are hard and form a strong frame structure. Cartilage is found at the joints. Cartilage is a tough, flexible substance that allows bones to rub together smoothly without causing pain. So, in other words, cartilage helps cushion and protect those areas. Joints are places in the body where the bones meet. Bones are living. They can grow and heal. Sharks and fish have a skeleton made of cartilage, not bone. The vertebrate skeleton protects the animal's vital organs, such as the brain, the heart, the lungs, and the spinal cord. The skeleton either covers these organs completely or covers part of the organs. The skeleton is designed to absorb damage if the body is hurt. In this way, the internal organs remain protected. Bones can break, but then they heal. Some internal organs may not be able to do this and will need to be protected. Can you guess the name of the animal in these pictures by looking at the skeleton only? Try it! Let's see how many correct answers you can get before the answer pops up. It's a dog. It's a chicken. It's a snake. It's a horse. It's a frog. Let's move on and talk about the different parts of the skeleton and their functions, starting with the skull. The skull of animals is made of bony plates joined together into a strong shell structure. It protects the brain from being injured. All vertebrates have skulls to protect their brains and the softer parts of the face, such as the eyes. The backbone supports the body from the head to the hip. It is made of many smaller bones called vertebrae. Animals have different sizes and numbers of vertebrae. The backbone is also called the vertebral column and in humans it is made up of 33 vertebrae. Besides supporting the body, the backbone protects the spinal cord. The spinal cord is a bundle of nerves that runs through the center of each vertebra. It is very important because it carries all instructions and messages between the brain and the rest of the body. The backbones of many animals end in a tail. You can think of your backbone like a long, bendy ruler made up of lots of small pieces. These pieces we have called vertebrae. Having many small bones instead of one big bone helps your backbone to be flexible, like a bendy straw. This flexibility allows you to move in different ways, like bending, twisting, and turning. 
So, the many small bones in your backbone help you move around and stay strong. Remember the vertebrae provide support, protect the spinal cord, and allow movement. A good example of how the skeleton protects the body is in the design of the ribcage. Try to feel your ribs beneath your skin. The ribs are thin, curved bones which form a cage. The ribcage surrounds and protects important organs in the body such as the heart and lungs. Although the structure of ribcage differs in animals, the function remains the same. However, the ribs of snakes provide support and protection for the whole body. In humans, the ribs are a set of 12 pairs of bones. The ribs are joined to the backbone at the back and to the breastbone at the front. The ribs can move just enough to let animals take air in and out of the lungs. Your ribs rise and fall as you breathe. Arms and legs together are called limbs. They are made up of strong bones that can support heavy weights without breaking. Your limbs are important for moving. Some vertebrate animals have four limbs, others have two and some have none at all. The limbs are attached to the body or trunk. They support the body weight and allow for movement. The upper limbs of an animal are attached to the body at the shoulder girdle. The lower limbs are attached to the body at the hip girdle. The girdles act as shock absorbers when the animal runs or jumps. The shoulder girdle connects the arms to the rest of the body. The shoulder girdle is like a frame around your shoulders. It's made up of bones called the clavicle, collarbone, and scapula, shoulder blade. These bones help your arms move freely and support them when you lift or carry things. Imagine it's like the frame of a backpack that holds your arms in place. So, the shoulder girdle's job is to support movement. The hip girdle is like a frame around your hips. It's made up of bones called the pelvis. The hip bones support the legs. These bones support your body when you stand, walk, or sit. They also protect some important organs in your lower belly. Did you know that some of a bird's bones have air in them? This makes them lighter for flying. The skeleton of a human is different from the skeleton of a fish. The skeleton of a human is made up of bones that include a skull, backbone, ribs, and limbs. On the other hand, fish is mostly made of cartilage not bone. Unlike humans, fish don't have limbs, but they have fins that help them swim. Fish skulls are streamlined and lightweight. Fish and snakes are the two animals that do not have proper hip girdles and limbs. Snakes have elongated bodies, and this allows their bodies to move in narrow spaces. A human skeleton is made up of 206 bones joined to form a framework that lets us walk upright. The largest bone is the femur, thigh bone, and the smallest is the stirrup bone inside the ear. It is only 3 millimeters long. Babies are born with more bones than adults. This is because some of the bones in a baby's body eventually fuse together as they grow. Each bone in our body has a special name. Most of the time, we use their common names, such as kneecap and collarbone. It is useful to also learn the scientific names that doctors and scientists use. You can pause the video and study this skeletal system. Test yourself to see which bones you can remember. We have come to the end of our class. Before we go, please go through these key words once more to help you remember everything we studied today. If you would like to receive an email with notes of today's class, send us an email with your request. Otherwise, until next time, keep well.